It's no wonder strange things crop up in the wild if scientists agree that Africa is where humanity originated. Researchers occasionally make discoveries so important that they radically alter our understanding of the past. See below for a selection of Africa's most astounding archaeological finds. Before moving forward, don't forget to subscribe the unknown facts. Now let's begin. The discovery of a child's skull in South Africa in 1924, thought to be three years old, radically altered how scientists viewed the beginnings of humankind. Despite Africa's current status as the cradle of humanity, the discovery of the Tong Kid in South Africa in 1924 shocked traditionalists. Before the approximately 2.5 million year old skull was discovered, it was hypothesized by Charles Darwin that modern humans originated in Africa, and the discovery of this fossil proved Darwin right. Asia was regarded by many as the cradle of civilization. Tong child's molars had barely begun to grow from the gums and were visible as teeth, suggesting that the fossilized jaw belonged to a child, and this provided the first proof of a person that walked erect and on two feet. The length and shape of the tooth roots let scientists infer that the fossilized jaw belonging to Ethiopia is home to the remarkable East African Rift and Danakil Desert. A new ocean is being born when the Earth's crust opens up beneath these areas. There are many volcanoes, fault lines, and rifts in this area, and many of the creatures and people who live there have adapted to the region's extreme climate and frequent earthquakes. After the nearby Daveo volcano erupted in 2005, a large fissure appeared in the Earth's crust. Many people in the south reported seeing the Earth's crust open up like a zipper. A Dabu fissure was the name given to this individual. It only took a few days for this to happen, but for months afterward, the desert floor was riddled with hundreds of rifts. Creating oceans and mountains typically take a long time, but this is happening at an incredible velocity. The Natron Lake animals supposedly turning to stone at Lake Natron in Africa adds to the mystery surrounding the lake. In the Arusha region of Tanzania, you'll find this lake. The name of this lake will give you an idea of the origin of the lake. The name natron refers to a compound made of sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate that has been hydrated. Surrounding the lake is one of the most intriguing and strange natural phenomena to explore. From a distance, the lake appears normal, but up close, a red crust can be seen covering its surface. Microorganisms in the lake's mineral-rich waters are to blame for this. Natron's continued attractiveness as a food source made the adjacent volcanic peaks all the more alluring. The water has a salt content of roughly 80% and a temperature of about 40 degrees Celsius. Moreover, many Tanzanian species would find Lake Natron to be nearly livable due to these factors. During the dry season, the high concentration of salt in the air creates a bizarre phenomenon, the petrification of all remaining organisms in the area. Many photographers and filmmakers throughout the world have documented this occurrence which stands in stark contrast to the forgiving waters of Africa's lakes and rivers. The lake's pH can reach levels as high as ammonia, causing severe skin and eye burns to any animal that comes into contact with it. Despite this, the lake is nevertheless highly regarded by flamingos as a prime location for both nesting and relaxing. Skull of a jawbone, shockingly, a single piece of fossil evidence can suddenly shatter the foundations of all the information held by the most knowledgeable historians and archaeologists. This jaw was the earliest human fossil found in Ethiopia in 2013. They believe that the fragment, which they have given the name Leti, is part of a human skeleton and that the entire skeleton belonged to our prehistoric forebears. Scientists are meticulously analyzing each of the numerous hominid bones uncovered throughout the world to piece together a timeline of our ancestors' development. After a lengthy investigation, experts determined that the jawbone belonged to a human between 2.75 and 2.8 million years ago, placing it well before the oldest known human fossil by more than 400,000 years. The family tree of our ancestors has been pushed back in time by thousands of years thanks to the discovery of just one jaw fossil. The primitive human skeleton depicted in the jaw fossil has human-like teeth but an ape's jaw and facial tilt. While the age of the lead eye jaw has been determined, very little is known about the historical period in which he lived, and the world was far from being fully comprehended and explored when they were discovered. Space-born Blue Stones Blue is one of the rarest colors in nature, and it's hardly ever found anywhere else than in the vastness of the sky. 
African countries have long been associated with the discovery and trade of blue precious stones, despite the rarity of blue-colored species and the fact that most of those that do exist have achieved their color by mastering the science of light. Meteorite refers to a type of rock that has crashed into Earth and is often considered to be one of the most stunning rocks in the world. The meteorite's electric blue color is its defining characteristic. According to reports, archaeologists in the Sierra Leone region of West Africa uncovered it around 1990. The stones, according to the myths, were once heavenly beings who were cast down to earth for their transgressions. They were cast into the wreath and buried after God transformed them into stone. The stone was broken down and tested, and its chemical makeup was revealed to be 77 oxygen and 20 carbon atoms with traces of lime and silicon. They could determine from the stone's composition alone that the local myths might not be far from the truth. It's possible these stones came from outer space. The carbon dating of these stones placed their arrival on Earth between 2,500 and 17,000 years ago. These meteorites have been treasured by cultures around the world since ancient times, regardless of where or when they were discovered. The Sierra Leone meteorite is truly unlike any jewel known to man, and the Eye of the Sahara, a large meteorite crater said to be either the consequence of erosion or the vestiges of the legendary Atlantis with all of its mystery, has sparked lively debate. The primary cause of this is the lack of knowledge of the building's history and the time it covers. What little information we have suggests that the ring-like structure is spread out over 45 square kilometers in the Sahara region of Mauritania. The Saharan eye is so massive that it can be seen from orbit. Because of this, the structure has been utilized extensively by astronauts as a navigational aid. What caused the Sahara to open up like an eye? The discovery of this peculiar geological formation in Mauritania has prompted a great deal of speculation among specialists. For decades, scientists debated whether or not the mysterious eye of the Sahara, also known as the Rycott structure, was formed by a meteorite impact. However, the lack of rock fragments at the alleged collision point disproved this thesis. Other theories were based on the assumption that the eye of the Sahara was formed due to volcanic eruptions. Intriguingly, he had a lot of evidence to back up the claim. If his theory holds, the ancient eye of Atlantis may have been situated in the Saharan eye. It appears that Plato's prediction of both salt and freshwater bodies in the area is correct. Although Graham Hancock and other conventional historians have contested this theory, they have yet to provide conclusive evidence against it. That's why it makes sense that the Eye of the Sahara would be the final resting place for the thousands of people who perished when the waters of the Atlantic engulfed the mythical metropolis of Atlantis. Unknown Containers It was recently discovered that 100-ton chests had been buried south of the Great Pyramid of Giza. There were 24 individual coffin-shaped boxes made of gold. Some academics have even speculated that aliens and not ancient Egyptians were responsible for the box's impressive construction. The seraphim of the Saqqara temple style contained a cemetery dating back to about 1300 BC. Boxes buried here look very mechanical because of their designs. If you measure the inside of the boxes, you'll find that they're perfectly flat within a few thousandths of an inch. Ancient Egyptians buried their holy bulls in these containers, according to archaeologists and historians. One would wonder why the ancient Egyptians would go to the trouble of building such an elaborate casket for a bull, but to them, certain bulls held a special, almost sacred status. It is somewhat remarkable that the people would construct such ornate graves for the entities that they worshipped, given that bulls were a symbol of both a deity and a pharaoh, representing power, determination, and masculinity. And with that, we must adjourn. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more incredible content.